Sue Wong is the Ontario lawmaker who introduced the Nanjing Massacre Bill. She is the first female Chinese-Canadian to be elected to the province's legislature. She joins us now from Toronto. Thank you so much for joining us. So, Sue, why did you decide to introduce this bill? Thank you, Elaine. I'm very pleased to join you this evening here in Toronto. Um, so the Bill 79 was introduced last December and we got unanimous support on second reading of my private member's bill. So in Ontario, in Canada, our bills go through three readings, okay? So I need to make sure your viewers understand private member's bill, how it gets done. So we pass first reading is when I introduced a bill into the Ontario legislature. Second reading is where I debate the bill, lead the discussion, and all three provincial parties in Ontario supported my private member's bill. So right now the bill is before a committee and we are hopeful that it will become law in Ontario sometime very soon. Uh, as a private member's bill, this is a bill that needs unanimous consent from all three parties. Before I became a member of provincial parliament, I was a school board trustee in Toronto, the largest school board in Toronto, and we already started to educate our young people about the tragedy in Second World War in Asia, because many of our Asian students have no knowledge what happened in Second World War in Asia. It's critically important our young people know the history, the facts, but more importantly, learn about a number of things, humanity, human rights, Come for Woman, which is a very tragic part of the, this part of the history. And the right thing to do is making sure the history is taught in our school curriculum. As a member of provincial parliament, I have jurisdiction provincially to talk about education. So that's why I introduced the bill last December. Um, and ironically, it's happened to be um, the 79th anniversary of the Nanjing Massacre. Also, my bill is also number. Bill 79. It is the clerk's department that's responsible naming the number of the bills. So that's why I'm here to share this information with your audience in China. So is there any concern the Japanese government could retaliate? Well, I'm going to comment, focus specifically on the bill. What does the bill mean to Ontarians, to Canadian? As a free society, as Ontarians, we are very respectful of everybody. We are very, very inclusive what we do as a country, as a province. We already passed a number of human rights legislations. For example, we passed legislation in Ontario dealing with the Holocaust. We passed legislation dealing with Holodomora. Um, and then we also federally has passed legislation dealing with the Armenian genocide. So it is very, very clear as a country, as a province, we are concerned what happened overseas, whether it is done recently or uh, in past. So this particular tragedy that I'm talking about happened almost 80 years ago, and it's very, very important that young people in Ontario knows about this tragedy, knows what happened in Second World War in Asia. Like right now, we're teaching our young people what happened in the Second World War in Europe. It's very important that young people knows about what happened in Asia as well. So about uh, 15, 30 seconds left. Ontario may, if this passes, become the first Western government to adopt a day of remembrance. Do you hope to see others follow? Um, so I'm going to correct your information about that. First of all, the city of Toronto, which is the largest city in Canada, already passed a bylaw about December the 13th in the city of Toronto. They were passed last year. Peel Region, which is a large municipality here in Ontario, also passed a bylaw about the Nanjing Massacre commemorative day. So the province, being the largest province in Canada, which is large Asian, or East Asian diasporic here in Canada, here in Ontario, also are interested. So we're not going to be the first. We actually will be the first province, a uh, subnational government, if it gets passed, to become law. All but right. Other so municipality here in Ontario has it. All right. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Good luck to you, Sue Wong in Toronto. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.